Hey everyone, welcome to my weekly book review, a list of the books that I did read and didn't read throughout the week. Yes, I know, a couple of people have said, how do you read three books a week? I do, I read a lot. I read a lot and I have a full-time job, but I still find time to read. I still watch stuff on television and I completely get I am an abnormally fast reader. I do. I read so much. I gobble books. My husband makes fun of me all the time because I will just be sitting there constantly turning a page of a book and he's like, you're just, it's like you're eating pizza while you're reading it. And I think a good book really does that. This week I tried to do something a little different in my trip to the library to check out some books. I. I'm going to admit, I like a lot of mind candy books. I love me some Nora Roberts. I, I love just kind of like easy books that you can kind of breeze through. And so I wanted to challenge myself this week and get into a, like a couple of books that I'm not normally comfortable reading. And by comfortable, I just don't get them ever because I look at them and I'm super intimidated, like short stories my thought in short stories is like, but I want to know the rest of it. I, I want to know what happens at the end if it's only three pages long. How do you wrap it all up in three pages? And I also wanted to try to get something a little bit different, a little bit obscure. Uh, so I'll, um, I'll let you know how that worked out for me. Yeah. So in my first book, I went way outside my comfort zone way, way outside my comfort zone. And I got David Shields, The Trouble with Men, Reflections on Sex, Love, Marriage, Porn, and Power. And you know, I, you know, I was like, ooh, sex, love, marriage, porn, power. This has got to be like something. I know this is true. His it's his reflections on his own life and society and kind of like a love letter to his wife. But to me, it just feels like drunken ramblings. And I hope that I'm not offending anyone who's read this and loved this. I just, I'm going to admit it right now. I am not intellectually high enough to appreciate this book, I think. It does. It sounds like drunken ramblings to me. It sounds like this one person that I occasionally kind of click on on Facebook and he rambles these, what he thinks are philosophical words, but they're not, it's just crap. So this is kind of what it made me feel like. But like I said, the guy on the internet's philosophical crap. This guy's like apparently a brilliant award-winning writer. He's written, how many books? 22 books. Uh, he's an internationally best-selling author and he's won a ton of awards. So, and he's written for some, the New York Times Magazine. So I'm feeling stupid maybe for not getting this, but I don't get it. It does. It feels like I'm having a drunken chat with a friend of mine who's complaining about his marriage and his downfalls and porn and stuff. So yeah, I'm sorry, this just, I tried. Second book was Joy by Erin McGraw. And this is a collection of 52 very short stories. And they were, they were like a couple of pages long. Like I said, wanted to get out of my comfort zone. I wanted to try the short stories. How did I feel about them? Maybe because this is my first foray into the short story area and or maybe because she's just really good at it but how I felt about these stories was it was kind of like when you go to a museum and you look at a really cool painting and next to the painting is a little plaque and it tells you a little bit something about the painting and you look at it and you're like oh that was interesting she was so-and-so's wife or oh okay that's a battle in history and then you're done and you move on to the next painting and you're satisfied i felt that way about these i was impressed i was impressed with it i i felt satisfied every time i read them some of them are heartbreaking some of them are joyful some of them you can relate to some of them you totally can't relate to and you're like what the hell was that about 
but you leave and you're satisfied. I'm going to try some more short stories in the future to see how I feel about them. I, what I liked was that I could pick this book up and then put it back down again and not touch it for a day or two, or I could have it over my morning coffee because I feel bad. I, you know, I pick up a book while I'm having coffee and I start getting attached to it and then I have to put it back down again. This was nice. Like I read a couple of the stories and then I put it down and I didn't feel, I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything. So. Bravo, Erin. I think you did a pretty good job on this. Very pretty cover, too. I mean, and number three, Jennifer McMahon, The Invited. I was not ready for this book. I was not ready for it at all. And as I was reading it, I did a little Instagram story of a picture of it next to my dog, which I will, I'll pop in here somewhere. Uh, this book scared the shit out of me. And when I went on uh, Jennifer's Instagram profile, all it says is I write creepy books. And that was it. It's kind of like I write creepy books. Mic drop. I, this, this book scared the shit out of me. I had to read it during the day because, and I'll, I'll, I'll put a little clip of uh, what my office looks like here. Um, see this? wall of windows and I'm showing you at night my backyard is totally dark and I can't sit in my office on my little couch and be comfortable and just very relaxed reading a book that scares the shit out of me I actually had to come into our family room and sit and listen to Chris play video games so I could finish the rest of this book because I was so terrified of something coming up to my window in my office. I am a, I'm an eternal wuss. I haven't watched Stranger Things. I haven't watched Walking Dead. Like I don't watch anything scary. I usually don't read a lot of scary books. If anyone in Hollywood wants to do a scary movie, this is a good book to make into a scary movie. It is so creepy. It's not scary, it's just creepy. It, and that's even worse than scary. You know, blood and guts you can get. This is just creepy. It's so creepy. So I think you should make this into a movie that I will never watch, but you will creep the hell out of everybody because ugh, ugh. It was so good. I And I in my little Instagram post, I said that, you know, I was, leaving it with my dog while I kind of relaxed while reading it because I didn't want to put it in the freezer. And I hope everybody gets that friends reference. And if not, you, you need to reevaluate your TV watching. So that's it. That's the list of books that were in my stack, ones that I did like and I didn't like. Again, we got two for one again this week. I don't know what my picks are. I guess I'm not elevated enough to get that weird artsy writing. It's kind of like slam poetry. I don't get that either. <sighs> anyway, I hope you have a good week and I will see you later. Mwah!